welcome home. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy, and some viewers said they would like to see my planned character build for Fallout 4 for my first playthrough, so I decided I'd bring that for you all today. My character build was done on the website vault111.com, which is linked down in the description below, and this is where you can build your character as well. It allows you to build up your special attributes and perks for the beginning game, preparing you for the launch date of Fallout 4, which is only 8 days away. So let's go ahead and jump right into my character build for Epoxy. I mainly based my special attributes off what perks I will be supplied with at the beginning of the game, as I will eventually be able to max out all my special and perks, but that's not going to happen for a bit, so I decided to take into account what I'll need and want for the beginning of the game. So let's go ahead and just give you all the information in one go. I'm going to be giving you guys how many points I put into each attribute, and then giving you all the perks that I get with that, and then also if there's any other bonuses that I get with that, I will be telling you that as well. For strength, I chose 4, as this will keep my carry weight at a decent amount of 260, and also give me access to the perks Iron Fist, giving me an unarmed bonus, Big Leagues, giving me a melee bonus, Armorer giving me access to base level and rank 1 armor mods, and Weaponsmith giving me access to base level and rank 1 melee weapon mods, giving me a well-rounded start on strength. For Perception, I chose 4, as this will start me off with the perks Pickpocket, giving me a higher success rate for pickpocketing, Rifleman, giving me a bonus with non-automatic rifle damage, which will be very good for the beginning of the game, because that's usually what type of weapons you get near at the beginning of the game. Awareness, showing me the level and damage resistance of highlighted enemies in VATS. And Lockpick, giving me a higher success rate in lockpicking, giving me a good start on all the essentials of Perception. For Endurance, I chose 3, as this will start me off with 95 hit points, and the perks Toughness, giving me a bonus on damage resistance. Lead Belly, reducing the radiation from contaminated food and water, which will be great for the beginning of the game. And Life Giver, giving me a bonus of total hit points, which will, once again, bonus the 95 hit points that I'll be getting at the beginning of the game. So that's why I went with 3, as I will be able to get the bonus from the perk. These three perks will hopefully keep me around longer during the beginning of the game. For Charisma, I went with 6, as I usually try to find my way around situations I don't want to put myself in, and I also want to start off with this combination of Charisma perks. Cap Collector, the first rank bettering the buying and selling prices. Lady Killer or Manhunter, giving me a plus 5% damage based on gender. Lone Wanderer, I take less damage and get an increase in carry weight when traveling alone. Attack Dog, my dog has the ability to hold down enemies to make them easier targets in VATS. Animal Friend, giving me the chance to pacify a lower level animal when aiming at them. And Local Leader, making me able to establish supply lines between my workshop and settlements. For Intelligence, I went with 6, mainly for the access to these rank 1 perks. Vans, showing me the best path to the map indicator while in VATS. Medic, increasing the benefits of stim packs and right away, which will be really important at the beginning of the game. Gun Nut, giving me access to ranks of gun mods. Hacker, apparently giving me access to constructing a terminal and settlements, but that's just community speculation. Engineer, which we currently don't have information on. And Science, which we know will affect weapon mods in some way, but will most likely affect something more than that. For Agility, I chose 3, giving me 90 action points and access to the perks Gunslinger, giving me a bonus with one-handed weapons, presumably in VATS. Commando, giving me a bonus with automatics, presumably in VATS. Sneak, making me harder to detect while sneaking, which is the main reason I kept my agility at 3, but I still wanted to have those 90 action points. For luck, I went with a low 2 as I had to sacrifice something. Let's just hope that this doesn't haunt me for the whole game until I bump it up, but I do get access to the perks Fortune Finder and Scrounger, both giving me benefits in looting. I also want you all to keep in mind that I can keep some of these stars so I don't have to spend them all on all these perks. I can choose what perks I want to get and what perks I don't want to get. So in Fallout 4, you can actually choose not to get a perk and you can choose to put that point into something else. So that's probably what I'll be doing with a ton of these perks because some of these perks I won't need at the beginning of the game or just won't be very useful at all in my play style. And that is it for my character build for Fallout 4. Feel free to leave yours down in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, that's actually it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight. It'd be super greatly appreciated. But until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.